Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com um, So, we're gonna go install this Resurrection Pro Resurrection Remi Re Remix ICS Pro ROM for our Galaxy S2 First you'll need to copy over the three files um, I think the steps are exactly the same as the other one but Let me do it again, just in case people forgot um, Connect as a media device to your computer Let's go to our computer Next you're going to download these three files, the Resurrection version 1.0 Remix ICS exclusive, blah 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 blah, gapps fixer underscore fixer dot zip, gapps for Remix, copy all those, um, do a copy, um, go to your GTI 9000, um, you can put it in the SD card or internal storage, I'm going to put it my, in my internal storage here, and I'm simply going to paste here, since I have so many ROMs here, let me, let me act erase all these actually actually no, I just paste it um, copy and replace so I'm going to copy the three files over and uh, and then we'll go back to the phone and I'll skip this part so that is done copying and uh, let's go to our phone and we're gonna we can unplug this, I don't need it um, you have to have your Galaxy S2 Root it. Of course, this is only for the GTI 9100. Please don't try to flash it on AT&T T-Mobile or Sprint versions. Um, you'll end up in a brick. And uh, hold down the volume, volume up, or is that volume down? Volume down, center button, and the power button together until you reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you don't have your phone rooted and with Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, go to my site, Galaxy. Um, as to root.com, I have instructions there. Oops, sorry. Actually, it's volume, volume up, center, and power button. Uh, sometimes I get confused because I have too many phones, and all of these phones have um, different ways of getting into the Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I'm going to get into Clockwork Mod Recovery here in a minute. Volume up, center, and you can let go. And we'll zoom in here I'm using my Canon 70 with the 24 by 105 millimeter um, L lens, it's a very good lens by the way if you have a Canon DSLR, definitely get this in um, next what you're going to do is uh, wipe data factory reset, hit the power button say yes, hit the power button and this will wipe your personal data settings and apps so don't forget to make a backup before you do this um, what I use is a titanium backup app to back up my apps and you can also use SMS text backup app off the market something like that to back up your SMS messages and so you can restore it after you install a new ROM um, so let's do this install from zip card um, hit the power button choose it from SD card hit the power button um, since I don't have an SD card I'm gonna have to choose internal SD card and that's where I copy to and then I'm gonna go to download here let me see doop, 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 doop. download here and then I'm gonna choose um where is it <laughs> resurrection version 1.0 remix underscore ICS hit the power button and say yes hit the power button and that will install the actual ROM. This should take another maybe two minutes, so I'll be back. This will get you back to XXLPQ, which is the official um, ICS for Europe. And next we're gonna go to choose it from internal SD card again, or SD card, depending on where you put the files. Hit the power button, and then go to download, hit the power button and then we're gonna go find the G apps for remix version 1.0 that one hit the power button say yes hit the power button and this will install the Google apps and when that is done we're gonna go back to choose it from SD card and to, no sorry choose it from internal SD card for me and then go to download again do, 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 do. And also, you know, you can actually download this straight on your phone if you want. Make sure um, if you have trouble downloading, use uh, Dolphin Browser. 
Uh, sometimes the stock browser has a problem downloading files off file sharing sites. Um, now choose the G apps fixer, hit the power button, say yes, hit the power button. And when you download files, it will usually download to your download folder. Go back, um, but I find that it's slower. Uh, and then you want, you'll probably want to do this just in case. Go to advanced, hit the power button, wipe down the cache, hit the power button, um, say yes, hit the power button, and uh, go back. Reboot system now, and you should be on resurrection version 1.0. And that actually got rid of the triangle, so just another way to get rid of the triangle if you want. Let's zoom out just a little bit here. So this is supposed to be pretty good ROM. <laughs> no, actually, this Resurrection Remix has been one of the best ROMs. Well, probably the best ROM for the GT i9100, uh, in my opinion, um, just because everything's pretty smooth. Um, and the good feedback, you know, it's not me, it's just the users. Everybody who've tried this ROM loves it. Um, when you see that much things happening, I've, the same thing happened with some of the other ROMs that I've reviewed for some of my other phones. And, you know, when that happens, it's, you know, you know it's a good ROM. You don't have to worry about it. Um, it's, it's better than, I, I remember the 9.6 was better than the official ICS ROM. So it's still booting. Um, once you get to install installing the application, you should be all good to go. Um, so let's just take another minute or two. This will only happen the first time you install it, and uh, we'll have a running ROM. And that's how you install it. Um, so I'll be back when this is done. So it's done. Um, let me choose United States. Can I do that? Yes. And uh, skip. Oh, I don't have a SIM card here. If you don't get any data when you install a new ROM, um, most of the time you should right away. Um, you can go to the APN settings, and I'll show you the, where that is. And go Google APN for your carrier. Like for example, if you're on AT&T, go go um, Google APN settings for AT&T, and then you can input that under System Settings, More. Um, their mobile well I don't have it's under mobile networks um, you can put that in there under APN settings should be all good to go get data um, also SMS same thing make sure you put in the correct APN settings for everything if you're not having trouble with SMS one thing I was gonna tell you about SMS is that I use Google Voice um, I actually ported my number one of my main number uh, last year to Google Voice. The good thing is, if even if my all my phones are turned off, um, even if I don't have cellular connection, if I lost my phone, I can go to my computer anywhere there's an internet connection, and uh, just check my Google Voice for my all my messages. Um, and also, I can make all of my phones ring from the same number. Um, it's a great way, and it's free service. Um, so that's how I do it, and uh, I don't have to ever back up SMS text messages because it's all you know backed up on Google Voice automatically. So anyway, that's how you do it. Um, if you have Galaxy S2, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyst2root.com. Um, we update you once or twice a week with ROM reviews, tips, hacks, and more. And uh, I don't share your email with anyone else; it's just for you and me. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button here. Um, subscribe to my channel and uh, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And thanks you guys for supporting my channel. Um, I'm gonna go get real high on Android. Um, just a little bit high today. <laughs> All right, see you later. Um, there's one more thing I forgot. Um, you will, this, installing this ROM will, um, it will get rid of the clockwork mount recovery. Um, but here's how to get it back. Um, there's another file you can download. Um, it's uh, 1.0 underscore CWM dot zip. Copy it over to your um, internal storage um, or your SD card, right? And then we can flash it in stock work, uh, stock recovery. Let's do that. So you're going to get back into recovery, hold down volume up, um, center, and the power button, hold it down. This will get you actually into stock recovery because um, this ROM doesn't have clockwork model recovery installed, but this is how you install it. 
so that's why you got rid of the, the triangle thing now you'll be in stock recovery and uh, let me adjust the camera here and uh, you'll want to go to um, apply update from external storage hit the power button Network. Um, underscore. Whoops. Ooh. Oh, actually, you know what? You'll need a uh, you'll need an external SD card. So I'm gonna actually grab one of my micro SD and just simply reboot it real quick. I'll be back. So copy over the um, 1.0 underscore CWM zip file to an SD card, and then reboot into this recovery. I actually have one of these micro SD cards which makes it simple. Um, I suggest you should get one of these. It usually comes with a micro SD um, when you buy one, so just keep one of these. So I got it copied over. Um, also, if there's any ICS kernels out, I'm not sure if they're out right now, you can actually flash that in Odin also um, to get clock on recovery. Or if you want, if you're going to install another ROM and you don't need to back it up or anything, you can also install any gingerbread kernels with Clockwork Mart Recovery just to access the Clockwork Mart Recovery, which will put you in a boot loop. But you know, at least you'll be able to install a new ROM or restore back to another ROM. Um, so that's another way you can access Clockwork Mart Recovery. But I'm going to do this again, and uh, let's do it. Get back in there. You'll see the belly up, Android robot which way there we go and uh, go to apply update from external storage hit the power button and I'm gonna go find my download directory that's where I put it and that file I was talking about the power button verifying update package replacing stock recovery there so now I have clockwork on recovery um, it should be all good to go can also actually hold down um, let me double check that it works by holding down volume up center and the power button oh what did not work oh you know what every time you want to um, actually use clock with my recovery you can actually do this that's what it is sorry so good thing I made this video um so it's not it's not part of the kernel but it's fine it's for now so replacing yeah so that's how you do it um reboot system now anyway i just wanted to add that for those of you wondering why um it didn't have clockwork mod recovery <laughs> anyway see y'all later bye bye